Researchers at Deloitte discovered that highly inclusive leaders demonstrate six traits to lead inclusively. It all ties back to what they think about and what they do. Hi, I'm Shannon Sport, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Specialist with Henrico County. In the last video, we talked about the six traits of inclusive leaders, and we also explored three of those traits. The link to that video is in the description below. Today, we'll spend time exploring the last three traits of inclusive leaders based on the model we referenced in the last video. Curiosity. Researchers at Deloitte suggest that inclusive leaders are naturally curious, they're open-minded, and they welcome different perspectives to minimize blind spots and make better decisions. Here's some strategies that you might try to get curious and problem solve as you're leading diverse teams. So ask yourself, what is this moment teaching me right now? And what can I learn from this experience to improve in my role? And what are other ways that I can look at this situation? Let's look at cultural intelligence next. Researchers define cultural intelligence as the skill and ability to work effectively across cultures. Every single day, we interact with team members who have diverse backgrounds and cultures, and their lived experiences might be different from our own. And these differences can lead to misunderstanding or misinterpreting someone's actions or behaviors. So one practice for modeling cultural intelligence is to try cross-cultural perspective taking. And that involves seeing the world from the perspective of another person. Now this strategy comes from Luis Rasmussen, a human factor psychologist who studies cognition and education research. So in situations where differences can lead to misunderstandings, ask yourself, what are the things that are important to this person right now? And why are they important? It's helpful to step back and think about a different perspective. Also, building your cultural intelligence and competence takes skill and practice. So here are some other strategies that you might explore. Engage in your own research, read books, listen to podcasts, and explore new places that will help you to build your skills in this area. For Henrico County employees, you can start your inclusion journey by exploring our internal diversity, equity, and inclusion page for resources to help you along on your journey. So let's explore the last trait, and that's courage. You know, we often think of courage as a heroic action in the face of a monumental challenge or a major battle. I often imagine an Olympic high diver jumping off a diving board into a pool. For Henrico County employees, courage is defined in our new capability model as a willingness to navigate uncomfortable situations, adhere to vision and values, and take action and initiative on new ideas. It's also questioning assumptions and processes to improve outcomes. So what are some examples of what it looks like to model courage as inclusive leaders? Here are some practical tips to help you build your skills and confidence in this area. So jump first. Jumping first involves doing the same uncomfortable things that you're asking others to do, but doing them first. This strategy comes from Bill Treasure. He's the author of Courage Goes to Work, and he encourages his readers to try a self-reflection exercise that I'd like to invite you to try today. Reflect on a time in your career when you had to navigate a challenging experience. How might that experience be useful to your employees and help you to develop them? Speak up. Our voices can be powerful for driving change, building connections, and trust. Speaking up could mean sharing constructive feedback with your leadership about a policy or practice that's negatively impacting your team, and then dialoguing to find solutions to address those concerns. Identify a role model. Think about someone who leads courageously. It could be a coworker, a mentor, or a famous person that you admire. What traits do they model that make them a courageous leader? Are they willing to take social or professional risks for the greater good of the team? Are they honest about their personal limitations? Identify what they do well and one immediate action that you can take to model that behavior in your role. The six traits of inclusive leaders is an excellent model to help us continue to build a culture of inclusion on our teams. And by doing so, 
we're better positioned to help our teams thrive and achieve their full potential. Thank you for watching.